Welcome everybody, I'm Ibo Craig and your real estate investor mentor coach. So I'm told that about 95% of property investors fail in property investing. I don't know how true the story is, but one thing I know for a fact is that I don't want anyone to fail in property investing and you don't want that either. And in this video I'm about to share with you as I've coached my clients and as I've looked at the people that have come to me before that were struggling, what the commonalities among all of them has been and I want to share that with you so that you don't fail. Are you ready? Let's get into it. The first fundamental thing that I noticed is as follows. It's like playing a soccer game. Most people have gotten into the game not knowing actually why they're on the pitch. I mean, soccer games are worn where? Off the pitch. It is where your strategy begins. It's where you actually focus on what it is that you're getting onto the pitch to do. And most people are entering the real estate investment game not having that. So the number one reason I would say that that has caused so many people to have a, I don't want to use the word stuffed up portfolio, but actually that's what it is. They, that, that, that is making them battle is because they don't know why they're actually investing in property in the first place. Okay, There is a difference between you investing for cash and you investing for assets. And you, the current situation, like where you are in life, is going to dictate that. You know, in my previous video, we've shared the SAP, how to determine the property value, and you want to use a little bit of that in this. So the first step is actually saying, what is your strategy? Where are you in life and what is dictating the things that you need? If you are a professional, for example, behind a desk, working from a, for a nine to five, reality is this, you want to want to buy your time. And if you want to buy your time, the first thing you really, really need is being able to have consistent cash flow that is coming through that will then for at some stage be equal to your current earning salary so that you can pay yourself for your time so that you can then make the decision of whether it is that you want to remain behind the desk or you want to do this on a full-time basis okay number two i've found so many people that yeah they got in the game and they started but content wise like knowledge education wise they were clueless and they have been clueless or they've actually gotten education from people that didn't really matter and didn't know what they were doing now lucky for you you're actually watching this video and if you're watching this video you've already taken the first step education you want to make sure that you are getting the right education most people fail because they are not spending time and attention to learn the right things, to be coached, to be mentored, to read by themselves. Now, on our sh on this show and on this channel, of course, I'm giving real content on a consistent basis. So if you're watching and if you're subscribing and you're getting the notifications, you're already going to learn a ton that will help you become a great property investor. So what's the last point? The last point is this. So most people do not have a holistic plan of what their wealth creation um, blueprint is they don't have a clue they believe that for example property investing is just one of the other things that they need to do and they don't make it personal and bring it into their personal space so they earn an X amount of money and they're using it how they want and then when the property income comes through they're using it in another way no you are a holistic being and therefore your wealth creation plan should be all encompassing it should be holistic it should be everything so for example um i had clients for example that was investing plus minus five thousand rand on a monthly basis on a retirement annuity and when you sit down with them and you ask why are you doing it they tell you for well when i retire at age 55 i want to be able to get x amount of money aside here's the reality five thousand rand a month is a bond repayment for a five hundred thousand rand property difference is for the 500,000 in property, somebody will be living in it now and actually paying you a rent for it now. Therefore, by the time you actually done paying for it, you have been able to be collecting money from the property and you will still continue collecting money from it. And if you need to do the numbers, you would actually realize that getting money now, 5,000 rent per month, and reinvesting it in your real estate portfolio and having more real estate um, properties so basically having more properties will actually enhance and expand your wealth base and make you basically finish at a point where your property size has grown and your wealth size of course has equally grown as opposed to just putting money aside which is helping those people build their legacy 
at your expense. I'm a ball quaver and it's been a great pleasure doing this video for you. Don't forget, before and for you to succeed in property, ensure you have a solid strategy, make sure you get an educated all the time, and ensure that real estate is part of your entire wealth creation plan. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next week.